Well, everybody, Randy Haven here for SoCal Go Live. My guest today uh, at the National Baseball Expo is Marge Ryan. Crying. Crying. Okay, Marge Crying. Uh, she was involved with the All American uh, Women's Baseball League, uh, Kenosha Comets, I believe. Kenosha Comets. And you were there from uh, what years? Uh, I was there from 45 to uh, 54. What made you first get involved with the uh, All American uh, Baseball League? Well, I played for the Orange Lionettes and, uh, uh, for about uh, three, four years. And then that was before the war. And when the war started, well, then that's when the P.K. Wrigley decided, that, well, we better, you know, get some girls' baseball uh, uh, league going because uh, the boys were being drafted. And he thought, well, gee, what if this war goes for another 10, 15 years? we got to have something to go into those big ballparks. Now, what was attendance like in the early years when you first got started at these games? Did, pe did people buy into it right away? Oh, you bet. You bet. I mean, they were curious. And, uh, of course, Kenosha had a small uh, uh, field because they didn't figure, you know, it was a softball field. But they didn't figure that, uh, you know, it would attract that much attention. And uh, lo and behold, they were out in the outfield. And, uh, I, I think people were surprised about, uh, as to how exciting those games actually were. And what the caliber of play was. Yeah. I mean, we played fantastic. And not, I'm not bragging or anything, but some of those girls and uh, played fantastic games. I mean, double plays, and we even had a couple of triple plays, and uh, which is a rarity nowadays anyway. But... Um, it was a good experience, and another thing, too, we got to see a lot of the countries. So you got to travel a little bit. And what were salaries like back then? How, how, did, how did that work out? I mean, they're not these million-dollar salaries we see today. What yeah. Well, uh, depending on how you negotiated your contract. But it was, you know, I got uh, $65 a week, which was real good then. And then, of course, as the years went by, you know, I insisted on raises and stuff like that, and some of the girls got up to about 250 a week. Now, the uh, the movie A League of Their Own uh, with Tom Hanks, uh, how accurate was that depiction in that movie to really what you experienced? It was all right because they uh, visualized, you know, as a movie, but it was pretty hard to uh, put in the the bus rides and, uh, you know, the uh, daily practices and stuff like that. And we, it was almost a 16-hour job for us, you know, by the time we went to uh, practice and then we went home and kind of rested a while and then we'd come back and sometimes play the double hitter. Wow. Now, the All-American Baseball League, what doors has that opened up for the, ki for the young uh, ladies of today? Well, I think it did a lot for them. Uh, I, I don't know of a baseball, you know, baseball league right now. Of course, it's been a long time, but uh, there's a lot of good softball teams. And I think, I think, I, hopefully, the colleges will get into the baseball. Now, do you think with the right marketing and promotion and the right skill level, that, that we can duplicate that today, what you went through back then? Can we, can we? Can another league get started here? I don't see why not. I mean, if the girls are hungry enough to play and willing to uh, put in the work, I see no reason why they can't. And I think they would attract a lot more, uh, 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 you know, people if they had a baseball league because it's a lot faster than the men's, uh, you know, league. Now, the Hall of Fame up in Cooperstown is dedicated a uh, section to the All-American Baseball League. Have you gone up to see it? And, and really, wh wh that must have stirred some emotions inside of you. Oh, you bet. It, it took us a long time, but we're in there, and it's really great. Now, you're here at the show this weekend, and uh, a lot of interest in the uh, All-American Baseball League, and really a lot of questions and autograph signing out there. Yes, we've been very, very busy. I've been here two days, and I'm down ready to go. <laughs> what is it about it that seems to just attract the uh, imagination of people? What is it about this league that seems to uh, not fade away? It, it just seems to endure, and people are uh, really, really interested in the history of it. Well... 
the West Coast didn't have the baseball uh, uh, more or less interests. They were more softball interests. I played for the Orange Lionettes when I was about 12 years old. And, uh, but when the baseball came out, uh, I think the Midwest was uh, more supportive than the, uh, you know, West Coast. And that's the only, and I was born and raised here and, and it was been softball all the time. So I, I think that there, it's sad that, that we can't play baseball, but uh, it takes a little longer to play though. Now, typical bus rides for you back then, I mean, how many hours are we talking about and what was a typical day? Oh, any, about, from any three hours to about four hours and four and a half hours, depending on the traffic and, and what happened. And we had buses, I mean, small buses, and they weren't too smooth and <laughs> we felt every bump in the road. Well, now, modern day baseball players have all the luxuries and amenities to kind of uh, work through some injuries if they have them, whirlpool baths, ice bags, uh, the physical therapist, the works. If you guys got injured, what happened uh, on your end? Uh, sent her down to the, the clubhouse, taper up, and sent her out again. That's old school, folks. Marge, I want to thank you so much for being our guest on SoCal Go Live. It's a pleasure seeing you. Good luck to the All-American League. Nice. And let's, let's have it live on forever. Oh, you bet. And thank you for asking me. Thanks so much. Marge Cryan of the All-American uh, Baseball League, going back to the Kenosha Comets and reliving those days. And those were, were great days. It was tough times, but nonetheless, they look back.